Hey, what is good, A team? It's your boy T. Back at it, bro, with another food review. You feel me? Um, now today, if y'all couldn't tell from the title, we trying out Popeye's new Cajun flounder sandwich. Now, I'll be honest with y'all. I'm hoping that they have this. I went on the app to actually order it uh, via mobile, but they don't even have it on the actual app yet. Um, and the Popeyes that's like five minutes down the street from me, I can't even order mobile from them for some reason, even though I ordered it from them when we did uh, the Rippin' Chicken food review. If y'all haven't seen that, I'll drop a link up there. That was the last Popeyes food review we did. Um, it was actually pretty good. I mixed it with that with that biscuit, put some honey on it. That was actually the hidden, you feel me? Um, but the very last food review we did was to Pizza Hut's Detroit style pizza. If y'all haven't seen that one, drop I'll drop a link up there. That one was pretty good, you feel me? But either way, bro, as far as this Cajun flounder sandwich, I'm kind of lost because it's like, why is Popeye selling fish? But, I mean, it is what it is, you feel me? I mean, but I'm about to read off a little part of this article here. Um says, Popeye's readies for Lent slash seafood season with the nationwide launch of this new Cajun flounder fish sandwich and new Cajun crispy shrimp. The Cajun flounder sandwich uh, consists of a crispy flounder fish filet that, that's coated in a Cajun spiced crispy panko breading. So Cajun spice crispy panko for the breading and topped with tartar sauce and two pickles on a brioche bun. Sounds like the same setup as the chicken sandwich with the exception of the tartar sauce. They just switched that out with whatever sauce they use on the chicken sandwich. Um, now I did have a little promo on their app that said it was T-Mobile Tuesdays because I have T-Mobile where you could get a free chicken sandwich with a purchase of like $5. But for some reason when I opened it back up, it was gone. I don't know, my guy. But either way, um, I'm about to go ahead and pick this up. I don't think I'm going to do fries or nothing like that. Probably just get the sandwich by itself. Um, but either way, bro, I'm doing a little bit too much talking. About to go ahead and pick this up. I'll catch y'all when I get back, coach. As y'all can see, we got that flounder sandwich, coach. So y'all got it as advertisement, but y'all ain't got it on the app. Either way, we about to go in and order it, pick it up. Catch y'all when we get back. All right, coach. Hold on, bro. Get y'all right. We back up in the setting, as y'all see. All right, hey, this is actually about to be a little bonus because I ended up getting the $5 uh, like crispy shrimp thing that they just dropped as well. Hold on, let me pull that back up for y'all. The Cajun crispy, Cajun crispy shrimp. I ended up getting that. I literally went there, I picked up the flounder sandwich, and then I had to make some other stops at food line and my mom wanted me to still grab her something else from Popeye so I went back and when I was going back this guy was walking out like hey man I just tried that the, the new uh, five dollar uh, shrimp box it's pretty good it's pretty good I'm like all right let me go ahead and grab that too then you feel me so I'm gonna do the flounder fish sandwich first I did get that blackened that blackened ranch first of all the lady I was gonna play or almost played me I asked for the black and ranch. She charged me for it because they charged like 50 cent, I think, per uh, sauce. After she charged me, she told me to put my card in. They charge it, all that stuff. Two minutes later, oh, we ain't even got none of that. So why would, you know what, lady? It is what it is, though. Either way, she ended up finding some, so we good on that. But I was about to be sick because I was going to have to get the regular ranch, which is okay, but it's nothing compared to, to that black and ranch. As y'all see, this is the packaging, very similar to the chicken sandwich. Got that same foil. Y'all see that black, hey, that black and ranch. If you ain't tried it, you better get on it. But this is that same like foil kind of package that um, Chick Fil A uses, that Popeyes has been using for the chicken sandwiches and all that. They got some pretty good detailing on this packaging. Look at that, Coach. Look like it's gonna be good, I ain't gonna lie to you. And I'm gonna give y'all a little bit of slow mo up close on this. You feel me? But alright, coach. Y'all done seen all that. Now it's time for the moment of truth. It's time to taste this bad boy. Let's see what it's talking about.
And that's really not that's pretty good, you feel me? The pickles add a little bit of pop to it as far as the actual flavor. Tartar sauce is hidden. Now when I say this is just a blowing me out of this world type of fish sandwich, not really, but it's still good fish, you feel me? Still good fish. Show y'all a little bit of that one. It's actually a pretty hefty, pretty hefty sandwich as far as the actual weight. You already know what time it is. I would say that that black and ranch brings it up a little bit more, but not as much as this black and ranch elevated that ripping chicken. But either way, that was the flounder, the new Cajun flounder fish sandwich from Popeyes. I'm gonna finish it, but I wanna get to these too. Feel me? Dude, why look like I only got fries in here? Alright, coach, I had to get y'all right. Y'all see him sitting up in the back. And y'all already know I'm gonna hit y'all with some slow mo. Hold on. Bruh, of course I didn't get no honey for my biscuit. I'm about to choke out in this thing, bruh. It's tough. Either way. Got out the way. Couple fries first. Popeyes to me has similar fries to, uh, to Rally's. Except Rally's is a little more thick. A little more on the thick side. Try one without the sauce, then one with the sauce. And I've never had Popeye shrimp. Mm. They're not bad. <clears throat> it's got a little bit of kick to it for the ones who might be wondering if it's extra spicy. None of it's like the Cajun fish sandwich, that's not really as spicy. And I don't really eat spicy foods like that. So if it wasn't too spicy for me, for the person who might love spicy food, this probably is not spicy at all to you. I'm gonna try one with this black and ranch. They're definitely better with the black and ranch. But this shrimp, I don't know. I mean, it was only five, actually. I didn't even tell you how much this stuff cost. I got the receipts, my boy. Um, 
So for the Cajun crispy shrimp, it's eight pieces of shrimp that it comes with. One biscuit, one regular Cajun fry. She said, bro, she asked me if I wanted cocktail sauce. She put any in here? Yeah, we still, hey, we got the cocktail. I was about, hey, I was about to go crazy, but this came up to $5.58 for the eight piece Cajun shrimp box. It doesn't come with a drink, just with a regular side and a biscuit. For the fish sandwich, just for the fish sandwich by itself, it was $5.01. Now, like I said, it's a hefty little feel on it, but worth $5, I feel like I, I, I would go get me a better sandwich for $5. I mean, it's not bad, but I don't know. I mean, if you, if you like fish, if it's hot, crispy, you're good to go. You feel me? $5, that's not, that's not really bad, you feel me? But it's $4.49, then you got your VA tax, Chesapeake City tax, so it came up to 501. But it might <clears throat> that might vary depending on where you at. But yeah, I definitely would not get this shrimp box again. I'm about to try it with this Creole cocktail sauce. I don't know if y'all ever had this or not. Y'all let me know. I don't really like cocktail sauce like that though. It's all right, but nothing to go crazy about, you feel me? That cocktail sauce is not it. It's okay, but that is not it. That black and ranch goes crazy. <clears throat> biscuit. Typical old biscuit. I wish I had my honey, but I'm going to go ahead and break this open. Throw me a little shrimp on top of there. Might as well do two while we at it. <clears throat> that honey would have been perfect with this, bro. Even on the shrimp. But that biscuit doughy as hell. <clears throat> mm. Either way, this has been my review. My review of the Cajun flounder fish sandwich. Cajun crispy shrimp. 
Now I'm not sure if both of these are limited time, but it did say the Cajun shrimp box is a limited time. Um, like I said, would I recommend you getting it? I probably wouldn't get either one of these again. I go with a chicken sandwich before this fish sandwich. And I go with some tenders before I got the shrimp. You feel me? That's just me personally. It's not bad, but it's just not, it's not too, too crazy. Like it's nothing that's just blowing me out of the park type thing. This fish, I'm about to finish this off the bun. <clears throat> like the fish ain't bad, but to me it just tastes like your regular McDonald's fish, fish filet sandwich, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Maybe that's just me, bro. Y'all get down there in the comments, though. Let me know if y'all have tried this. If you have, let me know what you thought about it. Let me know if you're going back to go check it out. I said to go check it out. Let me know if you would go back to go to pick this up again. You feel me? <clears throat> um, I haven't really got too much else to say, though, bro. I ain't got nothing else to say. You feel me? It is what it is. Um, if y'all got any more suggestions for food reviews or reactions or anything like that, down there in the comments, let your boy know. But hey, bro, we just hit 15K subscribers. Feel me? We on the road to 20K. Let's keep it going, keep it growing. And like I always say, y'all keep coming back, tuning in. I'm going to keep these videos rolling out. We're going to keep getting a little here. Catch y'all in the next video. I'm having all the O's looking like N and I